Good morning, ESM. Hey, Uncle Richie here, and it's Fist Pump Friday. Yes, we made another week. So uh, happy we made it here. And hey, for today and moving forward to the, to the holiday, let's put a little love in our heart, shall we? Put a little love, and the world will be a better place. You know that song, right? Classic. All right, I'm here for the fist pumps. People have shown professionalism, respect, involvement, diversity, and excellence. And the winners are, we got uh, Katura West from Miss Carucci. Woo! We got Marissa Kane from Miss Carucci. Woo! We got Autumn Shepard from Miss Corbett. Woo! We got Zania Mir from Miss Rodriguez. Woo! We got Dan Owens from Miss Rodriguez. Woo! We got Sung Tin Lang from Miss Rodriguez. Woo! We've got Dominic Siachi from Miss Rodriguez. Woo! We got Yendel Valdez from Miss Hillawa. Woo! And then we have our Kindness Award winners. We got Brianna Warner from Emma Doni. Woo! We got Ajela Day from Miss Carucci. Woo! We got Mr. Bianca uh, from Brianna Warner. Woo! And Mr. Hawthorne from Jenna Orlando. Have a great week. Richie loves you. <laughs> Good morning, ESM. I'm Josh. And I'm Emily. Do you know what the 10th largest pyramid is in the world? If not, we'll tell you after news and announcements. Yesterday, Delaware Sup Superior Court Judge Eric Davis rejected a motion by Fox News to dismiss a, dismiss a $1.6 billion defamation lawsuit by Do Dominion Voting Systems over claims about the 2020 presidential election. Denver-based Dominion filed a lawsuit earlier this year against the media organization claiming that some employees falsely charged that Dominion had charged votes in an election through algorithms in its voting machines that were made in Venezuela to rig, to rig elections for the late dictator Hugo Chavez. There was no evidence of widespread fraud in the election, a fact that a range of election officials across the country confirmed. A California man was arrested while traveling to Syracuse in an attempt to have sex with a 10-year-old girl he had been talking to online. He was caught by an undercover cop posing as the child. 43-year-old Edward Mercado pleaded guilty to attempting to engage in illicit sexual conduct, conduct with a 10-year-old girl. Mercado faces up to 30 years in prison with a fine up to $240,000 and having to register as a sex offender in any state he chooses to live, work, or become a student in. Yesterday, Mr. Avellino sat on an email stating, Friday, December 17th, the only doors that will be open in the morning will be the front entrance. This comes out after Dr. De Neville Dean sent out a message to the district and parents stating, recently, there have been posts on the social media site, TikTok, stating that on Friday, December 17th, there is a challenge to call on bomb threats, school shooting threats, etc., at schools in the United States. We were made aware of these posts today. ESM school resource officers and the Town of Manlius Police Department are aware and extra patrols will be around the school today and tomorrow. Also, Officer Kamar made an announcement yesterday discussing students' misconduct online and reminding students that if they see something, say something. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Make sure you wear your festival clothes next week for Student Council's Holiday Spirit Week. Monday, Festival Holiday, Hat Mass Day, Tuesday, Giving Tuesday, bring in your canned food for the food drive, and you can wear your PJs. <coughs> Wednesday is Ugly Sweater Day for Christmas and all your holiday fantasies. Thursday, Candy Cane Colors Day. The food drive competition with Central Square is heating up. We need to get more items than Central Square so that Mr. Avellino doesn't get a pie in his face. Don't forget, if we can get to 2,000 items slash dollars by today, we will shave Mr. Avellino's head. <laughs> Help if you can. Food items, cash, or online payment for donations are all appreciated. 
Seniors, the yearbook club is running a senior spotlight again this year. We want to include all seniors this year to have 10 categories to choose from. Some categories include I am an athlete, I am a gator, gamer, and I am a scholar. I am an artist and many others. To be included in the senior spotlight section, go to esmyearbook.org and click on the link. Use your school email to log in to the Google form and pick up your category. You were also sent a message in Parent Square with directions. All right, the 10th largest pyramid is the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid. The, this pyramid is, oh my goodness, this pyramid is located in Memphis, Tennessee, not Egypt, and is 321 feet tall compared to the Pyramid of Giza, which at its highest was 481 feet. As well as having a Bass Pro Shop, the pyramid also holds a hotel, restaurant, a swamp, and 13 bowling alley. The 103 hotel room also includes treehouse cabins. I'm about to go sleep in a tree. Before the pro shop moved in, the pyramid used to host basketball games for the Memphis men's basketball team. The owner of the pyramid has contacted companies like Six Flags and Disney trying to find a use for the pyramid until Bass Pro Shop decided to purchase it. Anyways, we'll get more into depth after weather. Yesterday, Syracuse broke the record high by an incredible 12 degrees when we hit a high temperature of 67. Today's high will not be as warm, with a high of 48 and a low of 30. Tomorrow, we are very close to the front line, which will, be, which will bring in snow or freezing rain depending on where you live. Highs will remain in the 30s for next week. I'm Abby with Your Weather. So the 13 lane bowling alley has an underwater theme park and we're going for a bowling under the sea. Under the sea. Uncle Buck's Fish Bowl and Grill and the lookout at the pyramid are the two restaurants in the pyramid. Uncle Buck's holds a large fish bowl in the center of the restaurant surrounded by a bar. The pyramid also holds 25 yard gun and archery range. The vacationing on the pyramid sounds extremely entertaining. Pre pro shop rumors flew about the place being haunted. Yes, the old owner apparently placed a crystal skull on the top of the pyramid, which causes mysterious things to happen. All right, let's not get weird. On to sports. The girls basketball team won last night against Solway 44 to 31. Jaliana Sabatino led the team with 10 points and Angelina Polcaro contributed 9 points. In NFL news, the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Los Angeles Chargers 34 to 28 in overtime. Tight end Travis Kelsey, who was on my fantasy team and did very well, had 191 yards and 2 touchdowns. Also, on sports we're starting this new thing where every week we're going to predict the bowl games. Um, so every one that goes on the sports is going to take a prediction. Um, this week we voted on two games, BYU versus UAB and Northern Illinois versus Coastal Carolina. And this is who everybody picked. On the left is um, Northern Illinois and on the right is Coastal Carolina. And in upcoming games, the ice hockey team plays at home against CBA at 545. The boys basketball team plays at Fowler at 645. And the track team has a meet at 9 at the SRC Arena. The wrestling team has a match tomorrow against Amsterdam at 730. And I'm John with your sports. Overall, the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid holds so many activities from exciting vacation and with the family. Thank you all so much for watching. From everyone at Spartan News, have a wonderful weekend.